Hi, I'm Jim Young. I've been a studio potter for 41 years. Recently, a small pizza company in Rogers, Arkansas asked me to design a unique wine cup. This grassroots project became the Bistro Cup, my smallest and most popular original design. Inspired by the natural beauty of Northwest Arkansas, each cup is really a tiny landscape. Notice that almost all of my glazes are earth tones. Did you know that blue is the largest single earth tone? It is. See how the natural beauty is mirrored in the glazes. It's almost as if by plan. The truth of the matter is I, I get down in the studio and start playing. I look out the windows and see fall happening. I see winter happening. And these little bistro cups become the result of that interaction. I love living in northwest Arkansas. The seasons change, the cups change, the combinations of glazes change, and it's all together a very organic experience for me. Very different from some of the neck up jobs I've had in the past. I'm glad now to be just making pottery. I start the process with a half pound of moist white stoneware clay. Each individual cup is sculpted and formed. Uniquely, you notice that there are no, no more molds other than the memory that's in my hands. And you can see how responsive the clay is. It's hard to believe that this responsive clay will become the hardest clay, the hardest pottery that one can make. So first I refine the shape, add a foot, and finally create the pillowy aspect which resembles our hills here, the rolling hills of northwest Arkansas that I look at every day. After firing once, we begin the glazing process. We make our own glazes. Here I am glazing the middle of the cup. And now I'm glazing the outside of the cup using an airbrush and glazing up to four or five different glazes, all of which in the very high heat will flow together and create the landscapes that are the final product. So here we are, it's loading day in the kiln. It's like putting together a giant jigsaw puzzle. And groups of things are usually loaded in the kiln together to save space. And after the loading, I brick up the kiln. I made this kiln. There's no mortar in it. It's all held together by gravity. light the burners and then gradually adjust the fire upward till it reaches 2300 degrees Fahrenheit which will melt the steel will melt steel but also make stoneware and that's what you're looking at now so my life has become sort of seamless as I try to create pottery that mirrors how I feel about living in Northwest Arkansas.